Hey guys, coming at you from uh, Crawler Tim's garage here. Um, had a little accident with uh, one of my five cells the other day. Um, well, I find myself into the rear end of a truck somewhere around 30 or 40 mile an hour trying to do some speed runs. It's a little slippery out, so kind of lost control a little bit. She did a little, little whoop de do and slammed into the rear tire of the vehicle. And it, it wasn't a hard case battery. I don't know if you can see the damage it did on the corners there. But the, the battery holders were aluminum um, on an aluminum plate. And uh, as it hit, this slammed forward and actually killed the cell. This one cell here, I already took the wrap off and stuff. You can see that. But what I'm going to try to attempt today is take a cell from a different battery, same C rating, same milliamp. And I'm going to hopefully fix this battery to be a 5 cell again. So, uh, uh, wish me luck and I uh, hope we don't blow this place up. Alright, so this is the bad cell. We're going to pull a cell off of this battery pack here to fix this 5 cell. Trusty battery tester here. Solder iron we're using. Radio Shack. It's uh, now Radio Shack. 64053 is what it is. So we're going to take this old cell off of here quick. Take our connections off. Get those out of the way. We just picked up the solder iron today too, so this is kind of a maiden voyage for it also. We were running the cheap little pen style connectors. Alright, we'll take this positive lead off of here. There you go. I don't have a solder sucker, so we'll have to kind of just flip it off of there. Kind of peel it away. Okay, now we gotta go after go after this next piece here. Same with this one, just kind of peel that, peel that layer of solder off of there. Whoa, don't do that. Look, it got dropped. Pretty much got all the solder off. There's that one. Here we go. Dead cell gone. Check the voltage here for you guys. As you guys see, she is dead in the water. Zero. Absolutely dead. Zero.
check our voltage still, make sure we got good volts. We are 15 volts still on this one. Okay, we'll set this one aside. We'll bring out this junk one here we got. Okay. We actually tried to make put two cell and a three cell together, but the irons we had at the time weren't hot enough, couldn't get hot enough, so so we're gonna use one of these and make this back a three cell. Yeah. Test our battery here. Make sure we got yep. Yeah. Well, both cells are good on this. I think this one. And this is still a good three cells, so we'll keep that. We gotta split these apart without breaking them. What I was doing was using this little Allen wrench here, stick it in here, and just spin it like a can opener. Seems to work pretty good. You shouldn't use knives at all. Because you puncture this pack and well it's not gonna be good. You also want to stop before you get all the way. Because if you fall through and touch these leads, you're gonna you're gonna pop this pack. Okay, so we'll go ahead and desolder this pack. If you ever deal with lipos, you need a super hot iron. I'm running at 842 degrees right now, and it's, I mean, it's not even touching the surface on this thing. Well, it looks like we're going to cut it. There we go, that works. need this negative cable on here so we'll take that one off. Maybe. Alright, well maybe we'll just use the other side. Let's use this one. Now as you can see, on this old cell, see how big the tabs are? Not very big. Well, I don't need this big old long tab here. Let's trim that down. Trim that down a little bit. Trim this other one down also. Okay, so we need to check polarity. Make sure we get this battery in there, right? Little trusty battery out there. Okay, so this one is our positive, so this one's got to go in there like this. This is a smaller cell, but same. Long, same C. It's different batteries now. Just different battery. Yeah, it is a bit thicker. Yeah, that one should be good. Pick up some of this old solder we scraped off. Mm -hmm. 
doesn't seem to stick very well. Got some flux. Flux. This looks don't work for shit. This is an extra long classic rock line. Classic rock station. 103.7. Alright, back at it. Back at it. Had to switch over. No, you can't read it, neither can I, but it's liquid instead of this paste crap. Crap. Man, these tabs are like fucking, they don't want to. Gotta clean this. You got a wire brush? Well, there you have it, guys. I'm still alive. Try to get this set up here for you. Let's go check the cells here. Well, it looks like we're good. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned for more videos.